So I received a couple of geometry questions lately. How can you uh, make the angle measurement show greater than 180 degrees? And how can you uh, transfer an angle measurement to make shapes? And let's talk about this second one first. Uh, transferring angle measurements, or the other um, part of the question is making shapes um, with, with a, a given angle. All right, so first off, let's go ahead and we'll add a geometry page. Now, geometry pages are by nature going to, or by default, going to give you the uh, angle in degrees. So let's take a look at making regular polygons. Here's the tip of how to use those. You go click, and then you move it out however big you want it, approximately. And then as you move around, then you can make interesting shapes. I'm moving counterclockwise, um, and then I, when I get about halfway around, then see when you're halfway over there then you have a triangle equilateral triangle and the square pentagon etc up to 16 and then these were interesting as well weren't they um, okay so that's how you can make those and that's real easy to do you're like I want to make a triangle um, and each of the sides are 60 degrees sweet boom there it is how do I know it's 60 degrees menu let's measure the angle and if I go click click and click then look there's the angle of 60 degrees okay so next up oh and here's how you can move it around um, but how do you transfer um, angle measurements all right and and to make whatever kind of shape you want so um, angle measurements uh, don't transfer to um, a length let me show you my idea uh, I'm going to add this time a graph page and the default here is to do it in radians and we could change those settings anytime we wanted to menu settings and and I said settings and and then we could change the settings right there but I'm gonna take advantage of being in radians and I'll take advantage of a couple of other features uh, so I'm gonna scoot this out and make this one a couple other quick things I wanted to do uh, like with the viewing hiding the endpoints okay it's a little cleaner now you might as well be one also all right, so let's make a circle, mm -hmm. geometry, and we're going to do shapes, and I'm going to do a circle. Yeah, and I'm going to do um, a circle of uh, size one. Sure, that sounds fun. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make that measurement we were talking about. So if you go to geometry, measure an angle that we want to transfer, then one two and three. Now this will transfer an angle up to 180 degrees which is pretty good for most shapes that uh, we would typically want to do. Alright, next up I'm going to make another circle. Menu, geometry, shape, and a circle. And I want this circle to be a size one. So I'm going to just click there and type a one. Enter. And there is my circle that has a radius of one. Uh, a unit circle, shall we say. All right, so I'm going to do menu, geometry, construct, measurement, transfer, last choice. Let's transfer this measurement here to this circle right here. And there you can see we have the same, we have transferred this angle measurement there. Now, this can be oriented in, in other ways. And from that, you can then make um, other shapes, like um, uh, whatever shape you want that is, is this um, length. Now, yeah, this one won't, won't move. We can uh, change the orientation. This is how we can change that size. Now, maybe you're like, I don't know how many radians are in degrees, and so, well, you could have both showing there on that same screen. I'll do text, and the relationship between radians and degrees for... Um, 2 pi radians are 1 degree, and so we'll take whatever we've got um, for, the, for the angle measurement, and we will um, div multiply by 180, divide by pi. So there's the conversion, and how about we'll, we'll do a little calculate. Let's calculate this, and that is 60.9 degrees. And so now when we transfer that angle, then this is correspondingly. Um, the uh, 74 now degrees. 
Okay, so again, from that you can make shapes. Like, let's say, here, we'll do an easy one. Uh, we wanted to make an isosceles triangle. All right, geometry, shape, and how about a triangle? So we are now going to make ta -da, an isosceles triangle that um, has this angle, and we can transfer that over there. Now, you could do the same thing by just having a number and by creating a little slider. Um, but there it is. Uh, let's see, how about one more thing to show you. Um, what if you wanted to make an angle that was larger than 180 degrees? Um, that you wanted it to, to show in degrees. And, and so let's do um, a new page. And I'll do the graph again. And I'm going to make an angle measurement. Um, maybe I want to do it on a circle. Hmm, sure. doesn't have to be on any particular circle this time. Shape, circle. All right, so here we go. Going to measure, measurement, measure an angle, and as you'll notice, do 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 do. do. Hey, it's in radians. I don't want it to be in radians this time. Geometry, um, settings. Let's change it so that it's in degrees. Okay, so there we are, nice and in degrees. Oh, it doesn't go above 180. Well, let's see here. What if we wanted it to? Well, just like we did a few moments ago with text, I'm going to say 360 minus whatever the angle measurement is. And we'll calculate that. And there it is. And this angle is 214. But we only want that 214 to show up when, well, when do we want it to show up? We want it to show up when the y coordinate is less than 0. So let's show the coordinates, right-clicking, show in the coordinates, and I will, I can press var or right-click and store this variable, y coordinate, and I'm going to say, um, I want this, I'll hover over it, right-click and choose conditions, and I'm going to say when y coordinate is less than zero, I want that to show up. And now it's showing up. Uh, of course, this one's showing up here all the time, and we really only want that one to appear condition when the y coordinate is greater than or equal to equal to zero. So there it is. Now you can do some extra pretty things like text and control the catalog, and there's a degree symbol right up there at the top. And you can attach that with another right click, attaching that to this. Oh, we need to hide that too. Uh, condition when y coordinate is less than zero. Oh, there you go. Isn't that lovely? Except for, well, there's one more thing we'd like to make it a little prettier. How about, um, let's do a couple things. One, I want to do a segment. A little segment here, do do, a little segment here. There, that's nice. Um, now, how can I get this to not show up right now? Well, you guessed it. I can make that circular arc condition only show up when the y coordinate is um, greater than or equal to zero. And so now it shows up properly. But we kind of would like to have that nice little thing show up um, for the the top part there. So here's how you could do that. You could, um, how about menu, um, let's do use the measurement, the angle measurement again. Angle, and I'll go doo doo, doo doo, uh, haha, there. So there's that one, and here's this one. But we only want those two to show up. First off, we can hide this uh, with the number three. Menu, hide, and now it looks really great, doesn't it? Look at that. Oh, again, it's showing up too often, so we will hide the circular arc some of the time. Condition, when the y coordinate is less than zero, you can appear. And how about this circular arc con um, condition, when the y coordinate is less than zero? And very nice. 
Look at that. Um, one more thing you might want to do is to um, hide a few other things that don't need to appear, including menu view the axes. We don't really need the axes. Oh, isn't that lovely? All right. So enough of that. Uh, thanks for enjoying this. 